Hey guys, so uh, this is how my nails looked before. It's been about six and a half weeks since I got a fill. So, all right, here we go. So first things first, you're going to need a file. Um, this is a like a hard grit one. Got it from Sally's. Um, you can go and pick it up from Sally's or order it online. So we're gonna file it down um, as much as possible, trying to get all of uh, the color off. So foul away. So once we foul uh, both hands, they're going to look like so. All right, so we're gonna need boiling water or um, cooler than boiling water, not too hot, because when I did it the first time, I was like, oh my God. So you need a large bowl, you're gonna, glass bowl for sure. You need a glass bowl, pour some hot water in there and a smaller bowl that fits inside of there um, that you can put the acetone in. I got my acetone from Walmart, uh, but you can get some from Sally's as well. Uh, pure soak off acetone. You're gonna pour enough in there that it will cover your fingers. All right, so once that's done and you filed away, one more foul just in case, just to make sure everything's filed down. Once that is done, you can put your fingers in, um, into the solution, uh, one hand at a time, so that you can get a good soak. Uh, did about 30 minutes each hand. Um, filed some off and then sit back in there for another 20 minutes All right, perfect everything soaked off filed down scraped off and that's just my pure nail there So I'm gonna file them down again. Make sure I get all the rough edges um, make sure all of the um, acetone is off and the acrylic is off All right looking good <sighs> finally done so my nails are finally done both sides are filed and ready to treat so I'm going to um, empty out that bowl of hot water pour some more warm water in there and I have some dish soap Ajax just nice and simple pour a little bit in there mix it up nice and easy um, then I'm going to soak my hands in there for about two minutes, softening it. All right. Once that's done, I'm going to clean out those nails. I have a cuticle tool here. Uh, you can clean it out with a Q-tip or something similar, but uh, cleaning it out, pushing those cuticles back. You can pick up a kit from Walmart or Sally's, but... Um, if you don't have anything, it's perfectly fine. Soaking them is more than enough. After that's done, I'm going to wipe them dry. Um, I have aquifer here. I'm gonna put that around my cuticles and then dip my hand back into the solution. Once that's done, dry it all the way off. And now I'm ready to paint. For painting, I usually use gel, but um, I'm gonna use this hard as nails because I wanna make sure that I have some strength in my nails. So this I got from Walmart, or you can get it from Sally's. Paint that on. Now we're good to go. That can be your base coat and you can add color to it or you can leave it clear, but here's the finished product. I'm not the best at painting, but my nails are still intact. I still have some length um, and they're nice and strong. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you guys on the next one.